What's going on guys, Lifting and Zombies here, back with another Yu-Gi-Oh! video here on my second channel, guys. Now, I have been wanting to make this video for so long, but I've been so caught up with my main channel and making a lot of Pokemon Go content over there, so now I finally have time to sit down and play this event. I've been, like, restraining myself from playing this event, like, even, like, one time because I wanted to get my first, like, experience and first reaction on a video for you guys. You guys can see I have 651 of those items that I think you need in order to duel this thing but I think for the first time you duel this it is like for I think for free I'm pretty sure so this is the flames of vengeance event guys so I guess we're going up against like this monster in the trainer and I guess he has a life points of 9,000 uh, he's a level 100 but that's pretty much level 10 uh, when you convert it down he just has a higher life points um, so we are gonna duel this guy so let me see if it has like event details here. Let's see what it says. I'm not even too sure. So how to play challenge the earthbound immortal with raid duels. Unlock the exclusive character dark signer. Um, Callan Kessler, I think is how you say it. Um, I don't even know. I think this is from like the new Yu-Gi-Oh! Ser series, this guy. So I don't really know about the new Yu-Gi-Oh! series. I'm, you know, the old school guy. So, um, so collect dark signer. Vestiges, so I guess that's what I have a lot of. I have like 650 of them because I've been playing like crazy um, on uh, on Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links, so I've been battling a lot of trainers um, on here, a lot of the NPCs. Find the Earthbound Immortal and challenge it to a duel. Raid Duel the Earthbound Immortal um, has a massive amount of life points, so team up with duelists from around the world to defeat it in a raid duel. Oh yeah, so I think we do battle with other people. I think I, I think I have that turned on, so I guess we will be battling with others. I guess that's how it's going to work. And defeat the Earthbound Immortal to obtain rewards. Defeat him to earn cards, gems, gold, and much more as treasure box rewards and damage point rewards. Um, and also, just given, it's just talking about the raid duels and stuff like that, so, okay, and I do want to talk about this, so the Dark Signer Vestiges can be obtained from the following duels, yeah, just battling a lot of the NPCs, uh, legendary duelists as well, so I've been doing that like crazy, um, now event items right now, so the Earthbound Immortal Beacon, um, the Earthbound Immortal will appear immediately when this item is used, cannot be used when the Earthbound has already appeared, Current spawn rate will be carried over. Uh, EX draw and summon. And dual mode turbo duel as well. So yeah, there's a lot here. Holy crap, dude. So he does have a character profile. I did show a little bit of the character at the beginning of the video. At least I, at least I think I did because I did screen record it. So without further ado, I have assisting turned on. I'm pretty sure. So I should just be able to duel this guy. And I guess we might get, you know, some other uh, duelists from around the world in the battle too. So here he is, uh, Callan Kessler. I'll show you the Dark Signer's strongest card. Okay, let's see it, bro. Let's see it. I'm down. I'm down. So level 100 right here. I'm guessing if we battle it a few times, the level, we might like unlock higher levels. I'm not too sure. Because, I mean, I'm at stage 22, so I have up until level 30 duelists, like, in my in my realm. So, yeah, we'll see what happens here. So, we are going first. Okay, I am using Joey, too, guys. You will see my Red Eyes Black Dragon deck as well um, that I did make from... I kind of got, like, the deck list from somebody that that did submit it to, um, to the game. Kind of copied it over, but put my, like, own hint on it as well. Alright, so let's go ahead and see what we can do. So I don't know if we have someone in here, or like, do I have to find somebody to play with? I'm not even too sure. Um, but, okay, let's see what we can do here, guys. I'm going to put this trap card down. And I am going to, let's see, I'm going to put, yeah, I'm going to put Imp down in defense position right now. So let's do that, and I guess I'm just going to end my turn. And uh, we'll see what happens. I hope I get the Red Eyes Baby Dragon, dude. I really hope so. Because I can pull out my Red Eyes Black Dragon and obviously use that and probably defeat him pretty easily. So we have a 1200 attack monster. And also we put down a spell or a trap card. Two of them. Okay. We'll see what he does there. Might pull out some moves on me. But he's going to take 600 damage right here. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. I will take that. Now he's at 8400 life points as well. Not going to activate that trap card quite yet because we don't need to. Uh, but now let's see what we can do. Oh, man. If he doesn't have a counter, guys, 
look at this effect I'm about to use right now. Now this is a good um, a good monster to have in your Red Eyes deck because watch this. If he doesn't have a counter, we should be like Gucci right now. So we're gonna use that Dark Dragon Ritual to summon Paladin of Dark Dragon. Confirm that. We're going to um, get rid of Blue Rose Dragon. Confirm that. Put him in attack position. And we are going to summon him right now. Let's skip that animation too. Make it quick. And so, okay, we did put him down. Now click on him, activate effect. And what is his effect, guys? You can summon a Red Eyes monster from your hand or deck. Therefore, Red Eyes Black Dragon is coming out, boys. All right, he's coming out. Okay, so let's go ahead and submit him uh, uh, on the playing field. And we are going to put him in attack position too. And we'll see if he has a counter against attacks. I don't know if he will. Because, again, I haven't battled this guy yet. So I don't know what, like, counters he has. So, okay, we took that down. And Red Eyes is going to hopefully direct attack here. Ooh, he does have a trap card. Of course, Limit Impulse. What is that going to do for us? What is that going to do? Oh, puts out a token, maybe? Two tokens? Well, if I do this, will I be able to counter that? If I can get rid of those tokens there. Get rid of that and get rid of that too. Continue to attack. And boom. That is how you counter a trap card with another trap card. Okay, so we have him at 56 hundo life points. So we're looking good so far. He better not have any more traps or spells. So do we only have like three more turns to take this down? Is that what that's doing? I'm not too sure exactly what that counter is. Does he not have any monsters? Oh my gosh. Dude, of course, I have to pull that. Ugh. I wanted to get like another four uh, four star monster, but okay. Let's go ahead and use our red eyes again. Took him down to 3,200 minus 16, so he's at 1,600 life points, right? Okay, I think we have this in the bag. I think we probably have this in the bag, guys. We should be good, especially if it doesn't get another monster, but I need like another level four monster or less to use up against this guy. So he's a trap card, Phantom Hand. Which is bringing out a monster. It's only 300 attacks. So yeah, we're actually Gucci. I'm not too sure what the effect is on that card, but I'm not going to worry about it. Um, so, okay. This will be good enough, I guess. 1,200. I mean, I think we're going to be good no matter what. But just in case it has like some wicked effect, which I don't think it will, though. So, let's just go ahead and attack with this card here, just in case. Take down 1,300. And boom! A Red Eyes Black Dragon on that as well. And, hey, goodbye, my friend. Goodbye. Take a screenshot of that, too. Hey, took him down. So let's see what rewards we get from this, guys. Because, again, I have no idea. I haven't watched any videos about this. This is my first time playing in this event because I wanted to do it on the video for you guys to get my live reaction. So, okay, we took him down, and we'll see what he says here. Dual result. Yeah, so we got 500 XP again, so nothing changed there. But damage, 9,000, 9,000. And next 10,000 points, we get 10 gems, apparently. Okay. Anything else, though? What else do we get? Raid complete. Awesome. Okay. Anything else? So, oh, so I know. Okay, yeah, I get this, actually. So I think what you want to do is build up a bunch of points, and it gives you rewards based upon the points that you have. So treasure boxes obtained. Damage ranking first place. Earthbound Immortal Spawn bonus 2. Defeated Earthbound Immortal level, level 103. Total 7. So we get 7 treasure boxes. Ooh, nice! Lots of coins, a lot of keys, a new card that I've never had before, which is a semi-decent card. And what was this card again? Okay, just something not too good. Okay, and we'll see what he says too. Not bad, impressive damage. Duel in Duel World and rank duels to increase the chance of the Earthbound Immortal reappearing. Oh, okay, so he has to re reappear again. Okay, select the Assist Duel. Button at the bottom of the screen to duel an Earthbound Immortal that another player is dueling. Okay. Okay. So even if he doesn't reappear in my world, I can just go ahead and join someone else's. Okay. But although no one joined mine, what the heck, bro? I got no help. So duel, yeah, so that's what it said again. And spawn rate, 99%. If I hit spawn, I guess I can maybe spawn this again. But I don't want to do that quite yet. Duel five times against the Earthbound Immortal to do to turbo, to turbo duel. Okay. And assist at other players, no items required uh, for that. So if we go back, is he not on the main screen anymore? He actually isn't, okay. 
But I did maybe unlock some missions though, which are probably in my special. So yes, we got this. Okay, 10 EX jewels, raid duels. And we also got a um, EX draw and summon. All right, I will take that. So play one duel in ranked duels. Surrenders are not counter, not counted, and that gives you the uh, the uh, the one item that you get from battling like other duelists in the world as well. So okay, so hopefully you guys enjoyed me battling this for the first time. We took it down pretty easily. We didn't have any help at all. Like no one joined us at all. So pretty interesting. So yeah, I'm gonna battle this a little bit more off camera and let you know what rewards I do get. And before we go guys, before we end the video, here is what I was talking about. So you do want to build up a bunch of points by battling that uh, immortal uh, monster. So we are at almost 10,000, that will give us 10 gems, but obviously you see as we get more and more points, we keep on getting rewards upon rewards. And it goes on for like a long time too guys. Um, I know there was one thing I wanted to show you. Was it this card maybe? Okay, so that's another good card that you can get, but there's a better card. Um, it's, oh yeah, right here, yes, this is what I wanted to show you. 100 Eyes Dragon right here. I think it's a pretty good card. A lot of people I think uh, were talking about this card. So this is a card that you do want to get ultra rare card right there. And uh, also I think, is it this one? No, it's an icon. I think at a few points below the 100 Eyes Dragon, you do have the ability to unlock the missions of that duelist that we did battle. So that was pretty cool too. But yeah, guys, hopefully you enjoyed today's video. I'm going to keep on battling this guy and getting those points up so I can get all of these rewards. So drop a like if you guys enjoyed today's Yu-Gi-Oh! video. Comment below any tips or any uh, any tricks that you want to share about this monster that is in the event right now. Is there something that I should know or do? Let me know. I'm still fairly new to this game. I've only played for about two two and a half weeks but i've done pretty well though guys i have done pretty well we are at stage 22 if this ever loads up for me yeah stage 22 guys level 16 with joey i'm about level 21 i'm in the 20s or something like that for yugi as well so i've done pretty well so i'm gonna keep on grinding out in this game letting you guys know also posting a little bit more of videos of duel links too uh now that i don't have to record as much on the main channel so i will let you guys know drop a like if you enjoyed today's video comment below any tips or tricks and subscribe for more Yu-Gi-Oh videos and i'll see you guys in the next one peace